Since the most recent episode of The Bold and the beautiful found Brooke and Taylor holding hands instead of slashing each other's throats, fans have been wondering if the two erstwhile foes may eventually realize they have feelings for one another. Whether it was because they didn't know that some individuals come out as gay or bisexual at a later age, or because they think television should only feature straight characters, audiences freaked out. True Feelings Some members of the audience thought it was ridiculous that the women would be able to find the love they had been missing from Ridge and each other. Perhaps we could say that it is dumb to keep coming back around to the same unreliable commitment phobe. It's not the time or place to talk about that now. A number of readers shared the fans' opinion that it was sick to put two ladies together in light of the article. Instead of Brooke marrying Eric, his kids Ridge and Thorn, and Ridge's half-brother Nick, and having sex with two of her daughter's significant others, perhaps brother-in-law Bill, and almost steps in Thomas while high on boinkberries, they probably had a family reunion. This statement also implies that any romantic interest between Brooke and Taylor is out of the ordinary. But Taylor's involvement with the majority of Brooke's exes and her and Eric's kid Rick is, well, regular. Nim Ulk, redefining clean. Another fan swore she'd switch to clean programs if Brailler ever aired. We can deduce that she admired the show's more innocent days, when it had plots like Amber repeatedly questioning who her biological father was. Eric and Quinn take turns cheating on each other while Stephanie tries to drug Morgan into miscarrying and Sheila disguises herself to stop an unsuspecting deacon. Some audience members complained that a romance between Brooke and Taylor, two women who have gone through a lot, would be nasty and disgusting. One person, in an effort to be absolutely clear, stated that she didn't, sick, believe in two women together or two males. One person said, I don't care what others do behind closed doors, but don't want to see it, apparently trying to distance themselves from the homophobe moniker. With the possible exceptions of Steffi having sex with Finn or Liam or Wyatt or Wyatt or and Deacon living with Sheila, it seems that the two are single and before her Quinn and before her Macy and so on. That's it. The show's fate is written here, one user said. I'm going to puke, while another yelled. We see enough of this trash in the real world. This is being shoved in our faces for no apparent reason. Got it. It's abundantly evident that some viewers would rather keep their gaze hidden away in the closet along with the rest of their clothes. Some viewers aren't interested in fresh plot twists and turns. Maybe that's why Maya, the show's only regular character, was killed off. But that leads us to what conclusions? This is not a question of who is watching the show but rather its future. To paraphrase, it advises us to stop whining about how formulaic stories are. Not even mentioning how often the same ones are used would be appropriate. The time has come to finally accept bold and beautiful as it is today. Brooke and Taylor will continue to argue over Ridge in 2034, 2044, and beyond, probably trying to run over one another with their wheelchairs. Sheila will continue to pretend to be dead by cutting off bodily parts, maybe an ear next, because she can only hear what she chooses, and the on-again, off-again dance between Bill and Katie will continue, because they somehow are convinced that the definition of insanity is not doing the same thing and expecting a different result.